Hi, my name is Ken Johnson. I'm the Director of Marketing and Product Architect at Teledyne LaCroix, and I'm here at APEC 2015 here in Charlotte, North Carolina, to show you the Motor Drive Analyzer. The Motor Drive Analyzer, it's an 8-channel, 12-bit, 1 gigahertz oscilloscope platform that samples all channels up to 2.5 giga samples per second. It's standard with 50 mega points of memory and can be optioned up to 250 mega points. What we're looking at right here is a three-phase capture from a small motor drive we have here at our booth. And I'm just putting a small load on the motor right now, and you can see the shaft uh, is causing the current to increase quite a bit. I'm taking the load off. If we look down below, I'm going to do what's a single trigger. And now if we look below here, you can see the table values for power, various power quantities. We're calculating VRMS, IRMS, real power, apparent power, reactive power, power factor, and phase angle. We're looking at all three phases, and we're looking at the total of the three phases right here. Basically, we know this information because we've gone through a setup in our motor drive analyzer program, and I've defined the drive output to consist of a wiring diagram that's a three-phase three-wire. I'm doing a line-to-line to line-to-neutral line conversion. I'm probing line-to-line, line, but I'm looking at line-to-neutral values, and I just simply assign my voltage and currents to different channels, and I'm also applying a filter to uh, a harmonic filter on the output so my values are calculated just on the fundamental uh, that's being applied to the motor. We calculate these values by using a sink. The sink signal is any current or voltage signal that you define. It defines a good zero crossing point. Essentially, that is the area which we then make all the power calculations over. Each distinct period results in one value in this table. This table displays a mean value of this entire acquisition. I'm going to turn that off. We have a feature called zoom and gate. It's on right now. If I turn that on, you'll notice the power values disappeared. That's because I have less than one cycle. But now if I put at least one power cycle on this period, I can see that I have a table of values. These values in this table are now just in the zoom area right here. And as I move this zoom area around, I get a longer, um, I get a, a different value in the table because it's gating the results in this table just to this, uh, just to this area right there. Now we can take a longer acquisition. I'm going to take a single shot. We'll take a longer acquisition. And I actually just faulted the motor. I put a little too much of a load on it, but it's now recalculating. You can see here, now I have a very long acquisition. I still have these mean value power tables, but now I can use the zoom and gate feature to scroll through the waveform, I can look at a very low load situation right here where I'm only drawing about 184 milliwatts. And then I can look at this situation farther out in the drive here where the load starts increasing. I can see my power value is 1.6 watts. I can also see a little beginning of a fault condition right here where the current is starting to look a little nonlinear. And I'm also getting some fault indications up there. Now, a great capability that we have is I can create something called a per cycle waveform. And that per cycle waveform is a quantity that represents something important to me. In this case, this is the apparent power. I'm going to look at the, the real power as well. In fact, I'll drag the real power up there. Basically, what I'm now looking at is a plot of this value over time. So as I zoom in on this right here, these are the per cycle calculated values. That's a mean value. This is the range of values. There's seven in this zoom, and I'm plotting each seven of these values uh, over time as a waveform. And as I change the zoom area, those waveforms zoom as well. If I reset that, now this is showing in a time correlated way the values of, in this case, the apparent power and the real power over time as this, uh, as this current increases. So we have a very powerful dynamic analysis capability. Simple example, but it shows you the depth of capability of our tool. Of course, we're all also a complete, fully functional, 8-channel, 12-bit scope. This new feature capability, combined with our ability to use the MSO, other channels, gives us ability to correlate control system behaviors to everything we can observe on the three-phase power system. So it's a complete uh, system test. It's a static power analyzer test. And it also does dynamic power analysis with the zoom-in gate and these detailed per-cycle synthesized waveforms. So this is Ken Johnson talking to you from APEC, uh, from Teledyne LaCroix at APEC 2015. Thank you.